Bars often provide a place for people to enjoy food and spirits. That's right, but what about getting your feel of spir spiritual food for the soul? That's just what one De Pere group is hoping to accomplish with its newly renovated church. Fox 11's Bill Miston has that story. We're in. I want you to know, church, we're not finished. So a church buys a bar. Sounds like the start of a joke, but there's no joking about the irony at this Palm Sunday service on April Fool's Day in the old Palooka's Pub and Grill and Van Vagel's auction complex in De Pere. The bar is gone, as are the tables and last calls for alcohol. A God, as we move forward, in replaced by more affirming statements. Amen. It's just an amazing transformation that God has moved this place from be being this this fantastic, you know, place that people came to to meet, and now they they have made it into a place that people can come to worship. It changes lives. Destiny Church pastor Sheldon Miles says his roughly 200-member church was quickly outgrowing the walls of its previous church on Wisconsin Street in De Pere. The then called New Life Christian Fellowship needed a new place to serve up food for the soul, and Palookas was for sale. I say that God has taken a house of bondage and he's turned it into a house of freedom. It took the church about six months to transform the old bar into its new church, and Miles says it is ironic at how things have worked out. So as the church continues to move forward, they're also looking at the new church as a way to form a new identity. We want to be a church for our community. Miles says after purchasing the property, the church changed its name to Destiny Church to better reflect the church's goals. I just believe that there needs to be a place of freedom in the community where people can come and hear the life-giving message of Jesus Christ. We want our church to be a different church. We want our church to feel that people can be welcome here. At a church in an old bar where everybody knows your name. In De Pere, Bill Miston, Fox 11 News. Miles says obviously the renovations are not finished quite yet. He says they hope to have them complete by the end of summer.